she, no, she, he said CC Perry Shay. No, that's what he said. No, listen, you didn't see. That's what he said. That's what I heard. You sat down. Then Kid Wire finished reading the brief. Maybe Kid Wire finished reading brief. Then you stay walking away. Yes. Then I was like, yes. I thought you were going to the toilet. No. You were coming back. No. I felt disrespected. Of course. As, as a Nollywood vet, I felt disrespected. Hello and welcome back to Reality TV and Podcast. Today, we want to give you a rundown of the week three drama, which was basically centered around the wager tax. And the wager tax was basically about Nollywood, a tribute to Nollywood. Africa Magic was turning 20 and it was more or less talking about the contribution African Magic has helped and not to in boosting of Nollywood movies. Nollywood stars and all that. We'll start from the very beginning and we'll take it down to when they presented their wager. All that happened, why there was bickering, and give you a very good insight of all that happened. So let's start from the very beginning, as we said. Start off with Kid Wire. You know, before there is a handing off or um, handing over of uh, HOH, the HOH that is supposed to hand over will first read the brief, you know, before they now go in and play the HOH games and then get a new HOH. So the brief came and Kid Wire read it. And you know, most of the housemates, when they hear anything acting, directing, movie, most of them are into that and immediately they are eyes will pop out they are so happy about it so and kid wire being kid wire he started off and then he picked his people people he wanted to work on the show um, on the where um, thinking of the story and all that and he excluded venita and that was the first the first fight v venita felt insulted you know, she felt slighted. And if you know Venita, if you've been following Venita, she calls herself a veteran in Hollywood. You know, she says she has stayed, she has been in Hollywood for years and all. And she felt insulted that he would even exclude her from, you know, I think it was even directing or something that he just didn't include her. So she just went, went to the bed, went to her bed that had a decline in it. And she was like, she's not doing it. She'll remove her and all that. She's not going to put him out in it. And then CC Mercy followed her and went to beg her, her oh, please come back and all that. But Venita was adamant was like she's not going to do it. That is, it's an insult to not include her. I don't know if we should go fully in depth in Venita right now, but we'll still talk more about because she was a major issue and a major talk in the whole drama that happened this week, and that passed then they went in and did the head of house games and then ek became head of house and you know the case calls venita his best friend as at that time you know because a lot happened afterwards and he picked her as bff so definitely when you are now in charge because you know, picking you as BFF, taking you upstairs, kind of puts you in charge too with EK. So she now had to come in and step in. So she now looked at the script, step, changing certain things. Angel was also writing the script too. So they both put heads together. They made her casting director. They picked CC as director, CC and Perry. Script writer was Angel. And I think also Alex was supposed to join angel you know so writing the script but you know alex are kind of tapped out from wager tax and um, preparations and all ever since first week and all the issues that happened the first week that went on and venita became casting director picked people she wanted to put in the cast and picked roles for people and all fast forward to to the next day we have Uriel in the diary room and Uriel is not happy. She said she was cast as midwife and she said she's not going to act as midwife, that she wants to be queen. And they, that they gave the queen to Mercy and that it's because people are kind of stepping, don't want to step on toes 
and they should have auditioned for the roles because she knows that she's going to kill the role of queen and that people just don't want to um, get Messi angry that's why Messi was given the role what do we think about this whole thing also let's also add the, fa uh, the fact that Ruel is also in songs and hand how white money and summer were put also in music where they will be giving soundtracks as um as the movie progresses and she was even give, she's also to lead one of the songs and she was also complaining there that white money was just doing too much there not giving her a chance why she and then big brother advised her to speak out and talk and she promised big brother that she was going to um, speak and say something about it but however summer came in after some i think one or two husbands and then there was summer but why summer was in the diary room Urel had raised the fact that she wanted to be queen so we were watching summer but we were hearing them you know arguing in the background and shouting and all so by the time the camera then finished you know we finished summer's um diary session and came back there was already issued you know Urel was raising her voice Venita was raising her voice that you can't stop things right now we've gone far already where did she speak since and ninja was also the fact that you read your head in songs how do you want to be singing and how do you also want to be queen you cannot you know you cannot do the same thing at the same time because you are you are doing soundtrack and you also want to be queen at the same time and when angel said that we kind of got it Jurel has been somebody that has always wanted to take center role in everything. She she wants to be in charge, she wants to shine and all that. We get Jurel, but sometimes you need to understand that it's not everything, that there are places for everything. Yes, Big Brother House people always want to come in and want to do the most and all that. But sometimes she needs to understand that you cannot be in everything even when they decided to change the story some um with some days later which we'll get to she also wanted to be the main person the cinderella day you get to you where you want to come to be brother and shine but sometimes you need to let other people shine too that's one too also she she, she has a point in the fact that they should have auditioned for the role you just get two or three people audition and then the housemates will vote on it one thing with that is that it will also cause fights because those that did not get much votes will feel kind of insulted but yes she has a point in the fact that they should have auditioned and yes it would have been nice to see if you would actually kill the rule or not as that was going on it looked also like because we didn't also get to watch it but it looks like iketu also flared up picked the script took the script from angel and was like he wants also he wants to be king and him taking the script from angel cut that short um cut the script writing short because after that angel did not finish the scripts and we'll get to how that affected everything later on and i don't know who has been speaking with ike but ike feels his acting has improved we here do not think ike would have killed the role of king and we also feel ike moved that way because mercy was queen and fraud was king it just kind of looks like mercy and fraud's friendship is not sitting so well with ike you know he might try to downplay it but it looks like ike is still very very much into queen and um, into mercy and the fact that she has been moving kind of with fraud you know that's her the kind of her best thing in the house they eat from the same plate they are always together and all those things it might not be sitting well with ike you know if you watch ike and pepper them that ike that was with mercy will not take it he's trying to he even said that he does not want the narrative of that he's still obsessed with mercy to go out but if you look closely ike is still very much into mercy and the fact that she was going to be queen to king maybe did not sit well with him probably felt he's her king and she'd be the one that should play king but we do not think he would have nailed that character the way fraud nailed it and after that they tried to calm things down the king cannot be king and all that and they kind of progressed from that moving on that same evening then they started trying to mend things but however the fact that 
Euro challenged Messi being queen did not sit well with Messi. I also have to say it here that there is a Messi versus Euro fight or um, disagreement that is definitely brewing. You know, you will, within the week, maybe next week or so, in some days time, you would see it because it's and it stems from this very fight you know because Messi was not happy and she was just going on and on and not to US face but if those who sat around Messi after that could definitely see that Messi was not happy about how Euro went about challenging her being queen and then they, then they tried to you know salvage whatever it was and then continue we were like giving them cameras and tripod stand everything to shoot the movie so fast forward then i started um putting on costume and all that then we now had Perry versus Vanita. you know and their own issue looks like it's coming from outside you kind of feel that Venita, you know she said it in week one that when she knew Perry was coming part of her thought okay there would be a ship between her and Fair and Perry. She said even her mom too was happy about it. Like, oh yeah, Perry is not a bad guy, yeah, and about the same age range and everything. But when she got into the house, kind of found out that oh, he kind of has something with Sissy. You know, they were good friends, him and Sissy, from outside the house. And if he was going to be in any ship, it would be Sissy and not her. And then he even moved from CC and then started with Alex. And that one even got Veni time, which was like he's moving in ways that he cannot be trusted and all that. So that one was already in play when Venita became casting director. And her and Perry had already had a little issue before. So the next thing we just saw was Perry ranting and saying, Venita puts, put, I need a cap on Kid Wire's head. You know, Venita had a cap and she was not giving everybody but she made sure she had given adequately cap beads and you know he was well dressed and Perry was going full director mode you know your casting your 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 role has ended give everybody that costume and be going and all that and then Venita too flared up uh, you know every little thing Venita goes I'm not doing it again I'm not doing it again and I think about time Venita stops acting like everything centers around her, especially when it comes to tax. You know, people said it on the timeline that it's part of it is because the way, of the way the housemates run to her whenever they're in her group during tax, like, oh, Venita is the password to making it or to winning tax and all that. And I think it has gotten to her because she always feels that without her, they would they cannot the housemates cannot move the, the housemates cannot do anything they or the housemates the, you know she, she feels always like she's the brain behind everything and always feels that whenever she says she's not doing you know the the tax or the waiter whatever is going to tank and the way she went about this particular wager was not it at all every time threatening i'm leaving and i'm not doing it again I'm like she's the main thing or she's the main this thing we will still get to the to that later so here again when this is the second time i said she's not doing she's she's over it and all and then anyway the housemates you know tried to salvage everything and continued and as they continued they were still bickering in the next thing i definitely also fled up and went against um Perry, you know, kind of looked like it was a solidarity with Venita. And this time around, he raised his voice again. He said when he raised it um, when he was having issues with um, Sheikhs. And that one, to, the next thing, Perry too much up, but not so loud, but also gave it to him. And it looks like at that time, Adekunle took cuts from the drama. He didn't say it so clearly there, but you will see later on that that kind of made that they could also decide not to continue again with whatever they were doing. Moving on, that same night, it looks like um, CC told the housemates, you know, with all the beckering, said, this house is full of shit. And that statement got Angel angry. The next Angel felt they been insulted, she's been insulted, all and all and all. That one too worked out too, you know. But they tried to get whatever shots, um, whatever shots they could get on that particular night. And the next morning, you know, Big D was already talking about uh, they need to hurry up and all that. He wants to take his camera and all. 
they, they they try to continue and all try to film whatever they could film even outside they were filming and came as they were filming parrot spoke that one split things after the parrot spoke they went for pool party and before the pool party you know alcohol came spirits came and adekule and she were of the opinion that we still have a few scenes to shoot why don't we keep the alcohol um, especially the spirit that they could take beer but for the spirit if you keep it I and mean, i think it was like three bottles then after they shoot they should then um go ahead and drink ek was kind of wanting them to take one bottle at least and keep the rest and it looks like ek now gave and they some of the alcohol and told new that oh yeah we are keeping the alcohol and everything and new was not just having it he knew he just wanted to drink and he went off and they were really shouting and they had a disagreement then again we have venita venita kind of took um and the way she's moving is like any attack on adequate is an attack on her housemates are coming from her for her and i think she took the adequate versus new argument to personal she didn't we didn't even see her at the pool party she then went to the diary room dressed again you know her 90s and i was like oh well she wants to speak to big brother if not she would not participate in tax she will not do anything to, and this is it again Venita kind of feels like she's the brain behind all tax. You know, imagine threatening any tax, she's not going to participate in it. The same, this is like the third time she's giving the same threat. I'm not going to do tax, I'm going to leave all of you to your tax. And I think the housemates, I mean, in the coming weeks, if she's still in the house, the housemates will definitely put her in her place. Do not come and threaten people that you are the brain behind all tax. This is season eight, Big Brother season eight. Is it you that have been doing all the tags that they've been winning and everything? Because, and because she has done two to three tags and the housemates have, you know, held her for doing well. She's done. She kind of now feels like she's the brain behind any tags. Any little agree, disagreement, I'm not going to do tags. I'm not going to be involved myself in tags. Girl, take a back seat nobody is indispensable it would shock you it's, it's, it's a sad thing that the major tax ended the way it ended but the next time you try it you'll be shocked and funny enough if i was in that house and i become hoh i will not put venita for something you know these people that start things and then halfway they back out and want you to to start rejecting and all that those people are not people to work with. Her and Angel did that and it was not cool at all. Even Shay tried it, but Shay wasn't so major in 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 the you know, it was just narration and Perry could take it. But imagine when a scriptwriter stops halfway. How do you want the thing to end? Imagine when somebody that is major decides to just quit like that. Those th th that kind of thing, and even no matter how good you are, if you're a hate your hate picking people, you make sure you pick people who will see you to the end. People like white money, people like fraud, no matter whatever insult, those ones understand that they need to see things to the end. You know, let's not take much time on this. So she went then, and she now, after she spoke with Big Brother and Rest, the next thing we come into Friday morning, and she then calls Perry, calls um ek cause um fraud i should like to also call she but she just refused to also join and she's just talking about manipulation then people are being aggressive there has been talks of bully you know trying to put it on parent ek kind of trying to pull out all the things people have said about them and all and saying they are kind of like they are manipulating and being aggressive towards her and we feel venita still lives in the world of nominations that you nominate people to go girl wake up it is now pardon me so if anybody is even going to call your name in the diary room they are calling your name so that you'll be safe because she kept saying there's a target on my back and the people want me nobody can easily just take you out now it is no longer nomination for eviction. It's nomination for pardon me. And most of these housemates have not allowed it to sink in. Even when they allow it to sink in, we'll stop hearing there's a target on my back. You people can nominate me. You people can send me. Nobody's nominating you to send you home. Everybody should just get that straight so that we'll not be having that same talk of people can nominate me to go home. Moving on from that, you know. 
Pere and Ike fled Durban or and that kind of delayed what they were supposed to do that morning because that morning they had planned that whatever scene is remaining they will quickly shoot it. This is because of the fact that after new parade last night for the spirits and the drinks to be shared, they all drank and they do some of their main cast, especially um doing who was playing Norma got you know, wasted and went to bed so they couldn't even shoot much and what they even shot was said to be had been shot in slow motion so people were like they need to shoot the game and by the time Benita started this her whole this thing the whole thing took time people even took time buffing and by the time all of them started getting ready to shoot people are taking his camera he has taken um, whatever it is and you could see this script too and you could see that people that was kind of angry with them then they wanted to okay let's finish whatever we have to do we're going to do a stage play angel had quit angel said she's not doing it again so they got alex you know to finish up the script she who was narrating said he was not doing it again adekule too was who was one of the chiefs said he's not doing it again venita too pulled out and i think it's also selfish of these housemates that pulled out and messi said something like what if they're also ahead of us and all of us decide that we're pulling out so we're not going to do Maybe because it's all stars, but it's an, an it's an unacceptable behavior, and it's because Big Brother did not punish them. Because normally Big Brother would say everybody should be involved. What what kind of like um, behavior is that? The day of the doing the main show, and all of you just said I'm pulling out, I'm not doing again, I'm pulling out. It's just wrong. It came off wrong. There, there, there's not there's not even defending of that. It's just wrong, and I hate people who even have that kind of character you start something with them and halfway they just leave you dangling you know basically wanting to see you fail there was no need for that see it through white money did not even drink Thursday night because he wanted to this yet to you wanted the show to go well and even as at that he still pulled up did the thing he wanted to do who is in that crowd i mean in that house that was not angry with everywhere everything went but you still pull up and finish it up you don't just do halfway next time now next time when they don't pick angel they don't pick venita they'll be angry but if you are hoh you need to be careful of picking people like that who would quit on you halfway because definitely they are trying to see your downfall but they won't sit like that. They say to, oh, they didn't pick me. It's wrong. And no, you yourself, you're part of the issue. Why would I pick you on Monday? And as at Friday, when it's the main show, you've quit. Some of them even quit on Thursday. And I think that was very, very unfair on Ike. Yes, given the fact that Ike was also a, just a chaotic leader this week, it was entertaining to an extent to the viewers. But I'm sure the housemates. We're not happy about he was hiding food and all that so that that got them angry and the rest but even at that it was not just okay and then yeah they went in i would give them props and you know good clap for them they put up a show you know despite all the hiccups and all and that's why they are all stars they are good at them you know they know their onions when it came to killing the the drama they did well you know white money kid in fact kid wire shocked people because you know people did not think it wire could act but he tried fraud came through it by it was just good Messi also tried her own and um, but at the end of the day big brother kind of told them no that they lost the wager and then the his voice was very loud by the time he got into the house you know such negativity is not needed and he might think this is level up, but I'm sure that the housemates will definitely come back for him because those people who quit now nah, came off wrong. There's no defending of that. There's no defending. You, know, you work as a team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. What could even get you so angry that you just quit and decide to step up? He's he, 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 him. The next time he's head of house, you should be careful. If not, the whole housemates can decide that when is the time to pull up, everybody quit and sit down there and watch him go on stage and explain to Big Brother what happened. It's just wrong. You know, when you do this thing, think about the fact that if you were head of house, how would you feel? And we are going to draw the curtain here. Thank you very, very much for sticking with us. Next time, we're going to bring down any drama that happens in the house we're going to give you a very good download bye bye you have lost your wager